If you've got to produce content for practicing exams in English, whether you're a student or a teacher, this app is definitely the best one that I've come across so far. It allows you very quickly to produce gap fill activities, to produce matching activities, reading with reading comprehension, true or false, all sorts of things. There is a free option in this technology as well, and it does absolutely loads of things. You just click a few buttons, your content is produced in a PDF file, you print it out and use it with your students in class, or if you're a student yourself, you can work with this technology. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it. Love to know what you think of twee.com, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So this is the tool, it's called twee.com. If you click on price, you'll notice that there is a free offer. There was talk that there wasn't gonna be one, that there is. It really is a very useful tool. And if I click here, I'm just gonna log in. You can try it for free. I'm gonna log into my account. If I click on tools, you get some indication of the number of things that you can do. So many things that are connected to the types of exam activities that we want to create. So let's start by just showing you a really typical thing that you might want to do if you want to practice your exams. So a typical type of exam question might be where you've got a reading plus some questions to answer. Now, this tool will produce the answer. So if you're a student, you can do the reading and then check your answers. So we'll click on this one here, create a text. We need to create a text first. Let's call the topic healthy eating. Okay, and let's imagine that the type of text that we want is gonna be a descriptive article. Now, I can even write in some target vocabulary here, and I'll just add a few words to give you an example. So I've just added in some target words that I want to include in the text. I'll make the text uh, around about 250 to 300 words, and the level I'm gonna choose is B1. I click on Do the Magic, and that text is immediately produced for me. Now the text has been produced and the interesting thing is if the text was too long you can always click on this button here and it will shorten the text a little bit for you and that can be a really good idea if you think oh this text is too long. And the other thing as you can see now it's a lot shorter that I can do then is I can actually edit it. So if I want to edit it I can also do that. But what I can do underneath is that I can add some types of questions to go with it. For example I might choose um, let's go for, for example, let's go for an A, B, C, D questions based on the text. So I click on that, it grabs the text, it knows the target vocabulary that I want to practice, and if I click on do the magic, it will now produce some A, B, C questions for me. Okay, now I could add something else as well. So if I come down here again, I might say, well, I want to add some also, uh, let's say, for example, some true or false questions, okay? or a leading activity. But let's have some true or false questions as well. So we click on that, and again, it grabs the text, and we click on do the magic, and again, the true or false questions will now be produced for me. Now you can keep on adding activities, you can keep choosing other options. Remember, you can always edit what you need to do, but once you've finished, depending on whether you're a teacher or a student, if you're a teacher, you might want to not include the answers, but if you're a student, you might want to include the answers so that you can check after you've done the activity. Just click on save as a PDF, and then the only thing that you need to do is to click on this button here and open up the PDF file, and there it is. Your activities are all created, so you could read through, do the questions, think about the answers, and then once you've done that, on a separate sheet, you'll find the answers. So really, really useful if you want to prepare exam type questions. Now let's look at a few more examples. Let's look at gap fill, for example. So this time we're gonna use the tool in a slightly different way. So we're coming back to the tools. I will start in the same way. I'm gonna get a text because it's always a nice way of starting. So I'm gonna click on here, text, and I'm gonna say uses of, or use of AI in language teaching. So that's my title, okay, so, or language learning, let's write language learning. We're gonna choose this time a, let's do a review. No, let's do is it a blog post. And we'll put the, the level up a bit higher for this one. We'll go 350, we're gonna go B2. We click on do the magic. Again, it's gonna produce the text for us. But this time what we're gonna do is add 
after we've got the text and again if we think it's too long remember I chose quite a high level this time but if we think it's too long we can shorten it but what I'm going to do now is come down here and look at the options one of them is A B C D questions so we'll click here and we're going to choose A B C D questions it grabs the text and says well what level well we're going to make that a sort of B1 to B2 click on do the magic and it's going to produce the A B C questions to go with it now we're going to come down underneath again and set another activity built around the text again it's given us the answers remember we can always edit we can check through but I'm also going to do a fill the gaps now this is really clever because all you need to do is click on the words so I'm going to have transforming I'm going to have main I'm going to have individual I'm going to have analyze I'm going to have feature and we'll just do a couple more we we'll do apply we we'll do enhance and we'll do native okay now we won't do any more the text is quite long I probably should have cut that one back but I'm going to click on do the magic and what it does is it generates the gap fill activity with the gaps in my text now exactly the same as before I would come over to here I'll include the answers click on save as PDF and immediately I've got myself I can open it up again a reading comprehension with two types of questions this time we've got the text with the gap fill and we've got the um, ABC and of course very importantly we've got the answers just a really quick break from the video just to say if you are interested in the whole idea of the use of AI technologies in language education then I do run a patreon site the cost is six dollars a month and for that you get one exclusive very detailed and comprehensive training video a week on particular AI technologies that can be used in language teaching. Now if you sign up you can actually sign up for free and just see the news articles but if you want the training which builds up really into a whole course of the main AI technologies that are being used in language teaching then join up to the paid option. Now if you join now the great thing is that you get all of the back dated videos as well and there are already about seven or eight different training videos and some of these are quite detailed and go into very specifics give you lots of practical ideas about what you can do in class and how to use them so as well as showing you how they work I really do go into ideas that you can try out and use I'll leave a link in the description below remember if you sign up you can actually see the news articles for free but if you want the training videos weekly training videos then that's six dollars a month hope to see some of you on there let's get back now to the training there are so many exercises here that are relevant you've really got to work through and just see all of the options that are available I'm going to look at this one at the moment now here which is interesting and one that we often use and that is create word formation exercises so let me just jump into it and show you how it works now the clever thing is you only need to write in the words that you want to practice then click on do the magic and the interesting thing is it will do all the work for you and off it goes okay it creates the exercise and notice what it does here is that it puts the words in brackets but of course you have to change the form of the word so that for example this first one she always takes a pragmatic approach to problem solving learning a new language can be difficult so this is really clever and I like the way that you just put these words in and the content is generated okay really hope you liked that video and if you did please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos that you can access and there's lots of stuff on the front page you can sign up to my newsletter and if you do that you'll get updated with all the new videos that I put up onto YouTube and I'll also if you sign up to the newsletter send you a collection of the most popular videos that have been uploaded onto YouTube it's like a mini course but it's very very interesting and it builds up into 14 different videos if you want to go that bit further and really get up-to-date training on 
the new AI tools that are emerging in the area of language teaching, then sign up to Patreon. There's more than 100 people already signed up to the website and I do a weekly video on a very specific AI technology. I go into a lots of detail and that really does build up into really comprehensive knowledge of what's happening with technology in language teaching. I'm gonna leave a few more videos on the screen now that I think might be useful and thank you very much.